you can now get Fall Guys outside of the European Union even if you're using an iPhone. There's several methods that I'll walk you through and one is really really easy so you can do whichever one you prefer. None of these involve jailbreaking since that can void your warranty, make your device vulnerable and also seems to break the Fall Guys uh, EULA which I of course don't want to promote. So first make sure you have the right phone. Fall Guys officially supports anything iPhone 11 or higher and while I did get it to work on an iPhone XR and even a 2017 iPad, I'm making this tutorial mainly with supported devices in mind and I cannot guarantee the game will actually run if your device isn't officially supported so preferably you'll have an iPhone 11, 12, 13, 14 or 15 or the third generation of iPhone SE and if you're watching this video in the future then it should of course work on devices like the iPhone 16s as well. Alright let's look at method number one, side loady. This will require access to a computer, if you don't have one you can borrow one from a friend or family member or just try the method later in the video that doesn't need any additional equipment. But if you have a computer, great, I'm going to give this guide using Windows 10 and an iPhone XR, though they should also work on Windows 7, 8, 11 or Mac OS and should work on basically any iPad or iPhone as long as it's not ancient. The iPhone I'm using is on the iOS 18.0 beta but that's not important as long as you check settings and see that your iPhone is up to date which would be iOS 17.6.1 at the time of uploading you should be good to go. First you'll want a cable handy to plug your phone into your computer but don't actually plug it in yet. We want to open sideloady.io in our web browser on PC, scroll down a bit and see this important message for Windows. Of course if you're on a Mac this won't apply to you but if you've installed iTunes or iCloud from the Microsoft Store in the past you'll want to uninstall them. If you just type add or remove programs into the Windows search bar then search for iCloud and iTunes it'll show you whether or not they're installed. So uninstall them if you have the Microsoft Store versions. Then make sure you install the web versions of iTunes and iCloud for Windows. Sideloady's website has the direct download links to them so you want to click on iTunes x64 and on the iCloud link and go through the installers to set them up. This should be pretty simple just clicking through yes, confirm and install prompts. Make sure that when you're prompt you've also signed into iTunes and iCloud. If iCloud gives you this error message it means you have to go into your Apple account settings on your iPhone, go to iCloud, scroll down, and make sure advanced data protection is turned off. Since the web version of iCloud is from 2020 it doesn't support having this feature on since it was only added recently. Obviously if you didn't get that error this isn't necessary. Now that you've logged into both programs you'll want to open up iTunes then plug your iPhone into your computer using the cable you prepared. Unlock your iPhone and leave it on the home screen you should see a pop-up after a few moments that wants you to trust your PC. Of course it's your own PC so you can tap trust then type in your passcode. Now, now you should see a little phone icon appear on the top left of iTunes, if so you've done it successfully. Otherwise you might want to try restarting your computer and your phone, maybe with a different cable and following these steps again. If you're on a Mac I believe simply plugging in your phone and pressing trust is enough, I don't think you need to use iTunes or anything like that. Now an optional step, if you don't like having to plug your phone into your PC, you can double click this phone icon, scroll down to the options and tick sync with this iPhone over Wi-Fi, then click apply on the very bottom. Now as long as your iPhone and computer are both turned on and on the same Wi-Fi network they can basically talk to each other without you needing to plug it in in the future which might save you some time in the future as you'll find out shortly. But now that your computer recognises your phone we want to download Sideloady. I'm on Windows so I'm going to click the Windows 64 bit download. Then go through the installer nothing unusual there. Then we'll open it up and you should see something a little bit like this. If you did everything correct it should already recognise your device and have the name here. If not I'd try restarting both your phone and computer again and the side loading website has a real long FAQ where it has a bunch of troubleshooting steps if you're having issues with your device being recognised. But as you can see mine is right here. I've censored the name and the ID because those are sensitive. Now that we've set this up we want to download the IPA file for Fall Guys which I've linked in the description. It's nearly 2 gigabytes, so it might take a bit to download which is fine. I really wouldn't recommend downloading random IPA files and side loading them to your phone for security reasons but I've double checked and this literally is just Fall Guys downloaded straight from the Epic Game Store from someone inside of the EU. There's nothing malicious in it so as long as you're using the link in the description and not searching randomly online you'll be good. While we wait for that to download we'll set everything up inside of Sideloady. In the Apple ID box we'll type the email address that you use for your Apple account. Obviously I'm censoring mine but you'll type in yours. Then you want to click advanced options. You want to make sure that if there's a download button right here on the Anisette authentication you want to 
make sure that you've clicked download, then change it to local instead of remote. If Sideloady already did this for you when you first launched it, like it did for me, then that's fine too. As for the other options, most of the defaults are okay, we just want to make sure that we tick remove limitation on supported devices, or else this will not work. I'll say it again, you need to tick this remove limitations box, or else four guys won't work. I'd recommend not messing with any of the other settings here because it's more likely to break things. As long as we have remove limitation on supported devices, as well as use automatic bundle ID ticked, with Anaset authentication set on local, and signing mode set on Apple ID sideload, everything else can be unchecked as it is by default. By now the IPA file should have finished downloading, so go to your downloads folder or wherever you saved it, and just drag and drop it onto sideloady. Uh, and now you should see the full guys logo pop up right here and now we've set everything up uh, We can just click start on the bottom It should load for a moment before asking you for your Apple account password I already entered mine so it didn't show up But don't worry this is only sent to Apple to basically tell them you're the one allowing the app to be on your own phone It isn't sent to sideload or anyone else So just confirm your password then you'll likely get a prompt to allow the login along with a two-factor authentication code on your iPhone So we press allow then type the code into sideload if you didn't get a code for whatever reason, there's an option for it to be texted to your phone number instead. Once we've confirmed all of that, if you did everything correctly, you should just see a message that says signing at the bottom of the program. If so, that's a good sign. Since Fallgaze is nearly 2 gigabytes, this will take several minutes to sign, so don't worry if you think it's stuck, just hang on, don't close side loady and don't unplug your phone or anything like that. Just let it do its thing and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, and now when you see this screen, it says installing 99% install and if I look on my phone right now, I'm uh, a few seconds after that, it appeared on my phone, obviously as like the newest app, like the furthest on the home screen, and it's right there. But you can see untrusted developer, so what we need to do is we need to head to the settings, and then we need to go to general, go down to VPN and device management, and you should see your email address right here. So if we tap on that, then we want to trust it, because obviously we do trust ourselves that we're not going to put a virus on our own phone. So if we press allow, okay, and now it says Fallgaze requires developer mode to run. So now we're back to our settings because we want to enable developer mode. This is only on iOS 16 and above. Uh, obviously your settings might look a little bit different depending on your exact version, but should be roughly the same. You scroll down to privacy and security. And then if we go right to the bottom, we should see developer mode right here. And it says if you're developing apps for Apple products, you'll want to do this, which basically allows you to d use apps that aren't from the App Store pretty much. And then when you go here, it will tell you that it's going to restart your device to turn it on. So obviously the screen recording will stop, but we're going to do this now. Now we're back here with developer mode back on. We should just be able to go right in to Fall Guys. If all goes well, I haven't actually tested this on my iPhone XR because apparently Fall Guys isn't supported on this device, so let's find out together if it actually works. I'll be honest, this grey screen isn't looking promising. Wait, hold on, right as I stopped recording, because I thought it wasn't going to work, we're on the loading screen. So this is iPhone 11 and above, but I'm on an iPhone XR which was a year earlier, and it seems like Fall Guys does actually work. Now I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't rely on the performance being very good but you can see we can log in right here after accepting the eula and obviously i'm not going to show you my account details because i i don't want to do that but this is well we're on like a, an unsupported device outside the eu so it's crazy that this actually works okay and now we can see use full guys with your epic games account that's okay we want to do that again th this device isn't supported and also it's not in the eu and yep yeah, Mobile launch news feed. There we are. <laughs> it, it, it works. And again, I would not rely, if you have something earlier than an iPhone 11, I would not rely on the game working properly. I would expect it to be a bit laggy, crash, stuff like that. But, like, we've got to the title screen. That is incredible. We can even do a, a little emote over here. Awesome. Okay, so that method obviously works, there is just the caveat of obviously it's a little bit tedious, it does require a computer, but also when you have like a regular Apple ID like we probably all have, when you sign an app like we just did with Sideloady, it only lasts seven days before you have to re-sign it. Now this can be done over Wi-Fi with the setting in iTunes that I told you to, that you can take, but there's not really a way around this seven day limitation, so every seven days you have to constantly like refresh for 
all guys resign it uh, to keep it working on your device otherwise it just won't let you open it but there is another method which does let you get around that and also every time there's a new Fall Guys update we will need to wait for someone to upload the new IPA file for like the new update then you'll need to redo this process again with the new file and yeah it's it's a bit tedious but unfortunately this is the only way for free but there's also a paid option which is actually a lot easier you don't even need a computer, you can just use your phone, just with Safari, outside the EU. You can just pay one fee and it'll work for an entire year. And it should automatically update, I think, within a few hours of every update. I might be wrong. So yeah, this other way, the only caveat, pretty much, is that it costs money. Everything else about it is way easier. It's called Sinolus. This has been a service that's been around for years and they have just added Fall Guys as well as Fortnite. Here is their website right here. I've got a link in the description and it's actually an affiliate link. So if you do end up using Sinolus instead of the other method, I will get a little cut if you use my link in the description. So I'd greatly appreciate that. Of course, use whichever method you prefer. But if you go on here, of course, don't do this on a computer. Do this on your phone with Safari and it should be able to automatically fill in your UDID which basically is like a unique ID for your uh, iPhone and then if you don't want it to automatically renew your subscription you can uh, untick that and then if you press this just $20 and you get an entire year of Fall Guys working. And as well as the other method that I just showed, I can also verify this works. I tried this on my iPhone 15 Pro Max running the latest version of iOS. Literally just opened Safari, just clicked the button on here, it automatically filled it in, just went in there, paid, went on to Fall Guys, pressed install, and, and that was basically it. There was just a little bit more. So if you do this method, after a little bit, you should see Fall Guys slowly installing it. Again, it's two gigabytes, so it will take a few minutes. And then once it's fully installed, you'll need to do a similar method to what we just did. In fact, you'll need to open your device's settings, then go to general, then you want to scroll down to VPN and device management. And there should be something here that says enterprise app. It might show like a weird company name. If you just tap on it, then make sure that you've trusted it. And it will show that they're the ones who've installed Fall Guys on your device. And that should make it work for a full year. And it, re it really shouldn't be much more complicated than that. You, you just press accept. It might tell you to restart your device to make sure it works. But then Fall Guys on your home screen, you just tap on it and it works. It's great and I currently have it running on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. After uploading this, I'm going to make another video playing the game. I, since I'm making this tutorial before actually playing it, so you guys better subscribe for that dedication. I haven't even played Fall Guys Mobile yet, but I've got it working on two different devices. So yeah, if you don't have a computer, as far as I know, this is the only way. If there's extra methods that are even easier than this, I will make updated videos, but I definitely recommend Signless. And again, if you use my link in the description, I'll get a little cut from your purchase. So I'd greatly appreciate that you'll help support me and also you shouldn't have to worry about any of the hassle of re-signing every week manual updating the app anything like that it should basically just work and it's that that's pretty cool in my opinion so you can click on screen for some more full gaze mobile content and thanks for watching leave a like if this helped